minutes of pure entertainment with musicians, writers, and actors to motivate us, chefs, and even rappers to up and comings with the it factor. It's the Jesse K. War coming at ya. Everybody, happy Thursday, and welcome to another edition of Jazzy After Dark. I don't know about you, but I am so ready for Friday to be here. You just, you just don't understand that. But uh, what I need you guys to do right now: grab your other device and jump over to my, go over to YouTube, and make sure no over there. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get all these jazzy notifications on these amazing artists. Please go back and watch the replays, share with your family and your friends, as well as subscribe to my website, which is kwardradio.com. It's just that simple. It only takes a few seconds. Just grab the other device, okay? <laughs> Again, as you know, April is not only my birthday month. That's right. April the 28th is my birthday. Yeah, I'm a Taurus. The bull is in the house. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> April is also Jazz Appreciation Month. So I hope you discover new music, discover jazz, discover the music in you. There's so many artists out here for you to, to discover. And of course, as you know, jazz music, of course, started in the United States. Just a little tidbit, a little history fact for you. So anyone celebrating a birthday in the month of April, happy birthday to you. Thank you so much for supporting the show. I appreciate all of you and your support. Well, ladies and gentlemen. I've been anticipating this, this moment all day. International recording artist, Canadian R&B recording artist, Mr. Gary Bills is hanging out with us. Okay, now if you don't know Gary Bills, shame on you for not knowing who this man is. Okay, shame on you. He's been gone for a minute, but he is back with the damn jump off. Bleed my truth. You better know, I'm telling you. But let me show you a snippet of uh, some of his extraordinary work right here on Artist Talk. I lay bare naked in front of you. I let you teach me to be me through my insecurity. Wondering one more you need from me. If you take and I take, we take. If you do and I do, we do. If you love and I love, we love. What more do we need? How could you not take me for me? You know what? I'm just, I'm throwing whatever I can find. The way he was singing it, I'm just throwing stuff. Did you, okay, me for me. That song, did you, did you hear the soul, the pure essence in this brother's voice? He's amazing. So ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and start sharing the videos. Let's show a lot of love 
And let's welcome Canadian R&B recording artist, Gary Beals to Artist Talk. <laughs> Jazzy, thank you for having me, Mr. Torres. Right, that's right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gary. So, Gary, when is your birthday? I'm October. I'm a, I'm a Scorpio. I had to remember that. That's right. Yeah, don't forget that. <laughs> well, I'm so excited. Again, I want to tell everyone, welcome to the show. Hi, Victoria, my friend James Day. Hey, Jeffrey, Patricia, everybody that's, that's hanging out with us tonight. If you have any questions or comments, Def Jam's life, just just post them there, and I promise we will do our best to answer those. Uh, you know, Jeff Def Jam. I don't know if you know Def Jam. That's my friend Gary James Day. He's a uh, writer, yeah. producer. He writes for like Layla Hathaway. Okay, you know some. You know, y'all I like you need to do some writing for me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to connect you two together because, you Me know, uh, he has a new song out called Kiss of Freedom with Cleveland okay. P. Jones. Okay. That, that he wrote. It's amazing. But Kiss of Freedom. I'll make sure you all, uh, I connect you two. Yes, please do. I yeah. Like the song. Yeah. So I appreciate everyone sharing the video. Again, if you have questions or comments, just post them and we will do our best by answering those. But Gary, I mean, how has your day been? Oh, my day has been good. Uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Can't complain. Uh, looking forward to chatting, sitting down and chatting with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm truly excited. And that me for me, it, it, wow, that song just gives you, just gives me life. I mean, your voice. And I'm just going to go back to ask you this. With a voice like that, I mean, you had to be real. Did you start singing in the church? Of course, <laughs> the church is definitely where I got my start. That's the first time I sang in front of an audience. Uh, yeah, grew up in the church. Um, that's where I fell in love with music and where my passion began. Right. Do, do you have a favorite? Uh, this might be a kind of challenging question. Do you have a favorite church song or just say maybe a, a favorite church song? Maybe you just like to sing. I'm sure you oh, have. Yeah, like, uh, gosh, uh, Jesus, keep me near the cross. That was kind of. My signature song is what I would sing. <laughs> I was going to put you on the spot. I was going to say, you should sing a little bit of that. All right. Uh, let, me do, uh, let me see. It's been a minute, but uh, Jesus, keep me near the cross. There's a my <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> pastor, <laughs> the doors of the church are open. Every <laughs> yeah, that was my song I used to sing back in the day. Years ago, years ago, years ago. Oh, wow. Oh, I mean, you just, you hear your soul. That's, that's just what I call just pure, real singing. Oh, bless your heart. Bless your heart. Thank you. You know, God bless you. Bless your family. Did, did you did you come from a musical family? Uh, well, not really. Uh, well, my, one of my uncles, he was a singer. Uh, but my my parents, I mean, they grew up or I grew up listening to a lot of like soul classic artists. So they would play a lot of that stuff. You know, some Otis Redding. I love me some Otis Redding, Al Green, um, mm -hmm. James Brown, Earth, Wind and Fire. And then, you know, just being in the church, uh, listening to and singing a lot of the gospel tunes, some Donnie McClurkin, some uh, Kurt Franklin. I was a real lover of Kurt Franklin music. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah. So can you take us back a little bit? I, I know you're from Canada, but when did your musical journey begin for Gary Beals? It began in the church. That's where it started. Uh, you know, at the age of maybe five years old when I was in Sunday school and I would be singing in the choir and singing lead, singing Victory is Mine. I think that was the first song that I uh, sang solo on. Uh, but yeah, that's where it got started in the church. And then it kind of just uh, spiraled from there. From there. Okay. Uh, we have a comment from Paula. Gary, you just took me back to home. Oh, what's up, my girl? Yeah, she's from where I'm from, back home in Scotia. In Scotia. Hey, Paula. 
Yeah, he, I mean, wow, he did. He, you know, I was just literally speechless. Oh, gee, what's up? <laughs> Diane says, wow, your voice is powerful and smooth. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So just to go back a little bit, you know, when we started the show, Gary, you know, with the, you know, last year, I always tell people a blessing and a curse, the pandemic. Mm. And, you know, so how have you just been navigating through this entire process? Uh, well, the my album, uh, the release of my material, that's kind of been a good distraction for me. So that's and that's been the thing that has been keeping me sort of like sane and level headed. And uh, so I'm grateful for that. Just releasing the album. My first song came out like days before the pandemic uh, hit uh, Canada in March of last year, Me For Me, which was my first single. And then I released the album in October, but just, yeah, just um, finding ways to, you know, be creative and look at ways to try and release the album. We were thinking that, you know, this pandemic was gonna be two months and release the album in June and then it just got delayed and, you know, a year later, we're still here, um, but it's been the album, the music, creating videos that has really kept me in, you know, a positive frame of mind and just has kept me going. Right. You know, and again, you know, with the pandemic, you know, we've, you know, I've I've lost some very close friends and no other people. And I, you know, and my heart goes out to anyone who's has lost a loved one during the pandemic. And I pray, Gary, that you didn't lose any close friends or family members during that. I did not, thankfully. But yeah, kind of condolences in my heart goes out to those who have lost loved ones. Oh, yeah. So, you know, during this time, mind, body, and soul, Mm -hmm. how did Gary Beals, how did you take care of yourself mentally, physically? I know you were writing great music, but what do you do to take care of you? Um, During the pandemic or just in general? Just in general. Just in general, um, yeah, uh, gosh. Um, I, I Writing has been very therapeutic for me. That's the thing that keeps me kind of sane. Music, um, you know, mm-hmm. listening to music, whether it's gospel, whether it's R&B, pop, mm-hmm. um, listening to music, um, reading. Uh, I love nature, so just, uh, I'm a cyclist here in the city, so cycling around the city. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would say traveling, but you know, during this time, it, I haven't had the chance to travel. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, and just being surrounded around family and friends, um, it's been great because over this last year, I really had a chance to really connect um, really a whole lot with a lot of friends, family, and just people who have been introduced to my album, my music. Um, mm-hmm. So it's been great, you know, just hearing stories, them hearing my stories. Right. Um, yeah, it's been a wonderful experience. Oh, great. I, I want to go back a little bit. And for everyone that's just intro, being introduced to Gary Bills music, make sure you go over to GaryBills.com. That's right. his website. Check out the website and, you know, buy the music too. support, um, support Gary's music. He has a new album. That's all. This is your third studio album, right? Third album, third album. Believe <laughs> My Truth. And that's what we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. Mm-hmm. As well as tell us about your reality television on Canadian Idol. <laughs> Canadian Idol. I did Canadian Idol back in 2003, 18 years ago. My God, it uh, it kind of feels like yesterday, but it, it feels like so far away um, at the same time. But yeah, it, I was on the first season of Canadian Idol. Um, I remember I was a huge fan of American Idol. So Canadian Idol came like right after the first season of American Idol ended and just being in front of the television, watching American Idol and just hoping that it was coming to Canada. And I was, you know, pretending as if I were a contestant on the show and then finding out that it came, that it was coming to Canada. I was really excited. A group of my friends, we went out, we auditioned. Um, and from there, it just uh, kind of spiraled into me becoming second on that, uh, on the show, on the first season. Um, it was quite the experience. It was an overwhelming experience at the same time too. Um, a lot of it, I kind of don't remember because I went from singing uh, locally to then singing nationally. Um, you know, being on that 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 uh, kind of national that's stage, that's yeah, right. huge yeah. platform. That's true. Well, hey, I, I'm. I think I got a little surprise, a little snippet, or something. Oh, I, my I surprises! Think. I like surprises. Right. <laughs> Let's check that out. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Break down and make it okay. There's always some reason to feel not good enough. And it's hard at the end of the day. In the arms of the angel, fly away from me, from this dark, cold hotel room, in the endless days that you feel, you are pulled from the back. <laughs> wow. Gary, when was the last time you saw that? You remember? Oh, it's been a minute. Gosh, you're making me all emotional. I'm just like, ah, seeing my younger self and and knowing the journey that uh you know I've I've um you know I've been on and to know you know where I am today. Um yeah, it's a blessing, but it's 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 a it's a good uh, memory. To think back on and to watch and like ah those were my brave days. <laughs> so you know, Gary, you know, I know when artists when you're you were singing in the church and then when you go to a platform like you know Idol, how did that experience? Did it help groom you? Um, yeah, I mean, more on a like a professional level because mm -hmm. before doing Canadian Idol, I was you know I was perform uh, singing in the church. Um, and, and, and mainly, you know, singing in front of people that I grew up with and people that I knew, family and friends um, within my community. So then having to go from, like I said, singing locally to nationally singing in front of people who I'd never, ever sang in front of before and to be criticized and also to be um, to people to be inspired by my singing and, and empowered by it. Um, it was, yeah, it was it's quite interesting. Yeah. I was going to, because Hey, my friend Jay Ross out of California. Thank you so much, Victoria. You know, I, I, I've never known anyone to be on a, you know, an idol show. But can you real quick, can you tell us like, what's what's the, an experience, a day like as you prepare on a show like that? Oh gosh! So we were—they had us like going like every single day. We never had a day off. The only one day that we had off was, um, and I think it was like August when there was a blackout in Toronto that happened, but. Um, every we were doing a lot of B-roll behind the scenes stuff. The show was, I believe, on a Monday. Um, so when you found out you made it to the next round, um, when I made it to the top 10, Tuesday was the day we would sit around and listen, find out the theme for the next week, listen to songs, then you select the songs, then you do the rehearsals, then you do a lot of the behind the scenes footage, a lot of the B-roll interviews. Um, yeah, it was just a lot of back and forth. Um, a lot of different events that they had us attending as well. Um, it was just, it was go, 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 go. It was like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> I bet so. Hey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey said your voice is everything. Oh, okay. Blessing, blessing. Thank you. Hey, Tanga Ray Hayward. She's another singing sensation. All right, Tanga Ray. <laughs> <laughs> bring me some Tanga Ray. Just a little Right? <laughs> Send some over to Canada too, please. Victoria said, oh, God, he had to be a baby at that time. Oh. <laughs> something like that, something like that. I still like to think I'm still a baby. <laughs> hey, well, everyone, I'm Jazzy K. Ward, your host for Artist Talk. We're talking with Canadian sensation R&B recording artist, Mr. Gary Bills is our special guest tonight. Stay tuned. We're going to have a little bit more conversation right here. Artist Talk. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Jazzy K. Ward, your host for Saturday Jazz Affair on FM 90.7 WVAS. Join me for a new segment of Artist Talk. That's 10 a.m. Central Standard Time each Saturday on WVAS. We're going to talk to artists about their music, have great conversation, and much more. That's on Artist Talk on 90.7 FM WVAS. Of course, you can stream the show via WVASFM.org. I hope you can tune in. 
Hey everyone, welcome back to the show Artist Talk. We're talking with Gary Bills, R&B recording artist, who is our special guest. He has a new project out. Make sure you go over to GaryBills.com. And we want to talk about this third studio album, which I love. I've been listening to it all like in my office today. Really? Okay. You know, so I've been, you know, bleed my truth. And yeah. I mean, I can come up with my own. So I'm like that title. It's it, it's powerful, but ex explain to us why why did you choose Bleed My Truth? Yeah, Bleed My Truth. Gosh, this was my uh, third studio album, um, and it was a chance for me to really bleed my truth, embrace myself. For so many years, I had struggled with my sexuality, um, mm -hmm. and and I struggled internally with it, and I, I felt that it really stunted me. Um, just professionally, even singing wise, um, and my in terms of my musical direction, in terms of my lyrics and, and what I um, sang about. Um, and so I really needed to kind of step back from doing music after my second album came out in 2009, um, because I wasn't presenting myself in an authentic way, um, but still struggling with my sexuality and just coming to terms with myself and embracing myself. And so I did a lot of soul searching, I, you know, I traveled a lot um, and I dug deep within myself and uh, yeah, and then I fell back in love with music because I, I lost the passion for music. I was like, I grew up in the church, um, and then with R&B music, you know, can I really do something with R&B music as, you know, a, this a, a, a gay man? Yeah. Um, and so then I, uh, yeah, I fell back in love with music again. I started writing, got in the studio and uh, yeah, the album just came about and it really kind of kickstarted when I went to Hawaii. I decided to take a trip to Hawaii and I was just in this transitional period. So that was back in 2017. I went all by myself and I just really had it had to like dig deep within myself um, to get to know myself even more. And so after that trip, that's really what inspired me to do the album and bleed my truth is just bleeding my truth, embracing myself. And I feel like so, so wonderful. I, um, you know, when you hide parts of yourself, like you really, you don't understand how it really stunts and you lose perspective on other areas in your life. And I played small for so long. And so now having bled my truth, um, yeah, I just see even creatively, like it's it's it has opened me up so much more. And even in terms of my conversations, my conversations before that were very surfaced. And so now I'm able to go deeper in terms of with my uh, relationships with friends and families and just talk about uh, a plethora of things and uh, just be able to express myself. So it's an amazing feeling. Um, blessed for this journey um just to to be able to to bleed my truth and so that's why the album is called bleed my truth you know i'm i'm just gonna say i i love the title and as you know a lot of times with the pandemic happening here you know life catches all of us especially me i'm just so busy mm -hmm. and i don't really have time a lot of times you know when you're in a car you're on the cell phone mm -hmm. so i finally was able and, you know, I get up early in the morning, like maybe about 4.30. Okay, I, really. I work out. That's my time for me. Mm -hmm. As I was as I was sitting, listening to your music, there were so many emotions. Maybe, you know, even this past year, when I heard your albums, I, I have to give it, I'm a crybaby. Oh, so I don't, I don't want to be tough. <laughs> I try to be tough. But when I heard the album, it just brought out so many emotions in me. You know, like the song, Me For Me, you know, Good love, blood red roses, oh. pictures, and I mean the the book is a soundtrack, guys. Mm -hmm. And you definitely need this project in your life. One for the house, one in the car. All right. <laughs> so go over to GaryBills.com and make sure you check out. Uh, just buy the album. Hi, right, Costella. Costella. Hey, Gerald. Thank you, guys. Hey, Costella. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gerald. And you know, Hello, it's, it's authentic. And it's real. And, you know, I hear the emotions in your voice, even when you sing on this album. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, it really took me back. In writing this album, I went um, back to like your, my younger self and just pulled parts of myself that I really lost along the way. And so it really came from a genuine, authentic place. And I guess that's why people really resonate with the album. And whether, you know, they they may not struggle with the same, same things that I struggle with, but people really resonate with it. And I've, I've heard so many different stories of just, you know, what the album means for for, for other people. Um, and then, you know, I just went to that place where I really had to take time for myself and really get to know myself. And that's so important. And um, the, the song, Bleed My Truth, you know, it's it says, can't nobody interrupt my meditation, self-loving, intimate liberation, no anxious feelings, no anticipation. And because I bleed my truth. And so having that time of meditation to myself and I make sure that I take the time to just to meditate and to reflect, um, to be grateful on life. And uh, yeah, so. Oh, bless it. Uh De uh, James Day said, wow, I'm going to I'm going to get this record right after this interview and make sure you play something while you talk. Well, yeah. good thing you said that, James, because <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about uh, a song pictures that's off of the his latest studio album, the third studio album, Bleed My Truth, right here on Artist Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gary Beals with pictures. All this out now, memories, yeah. Flower pet, I'm just lost on the breeze. Thinking of all the things that I would say to me. But I know it's hard now. I'll be the changes. I am your comfort when you're in pain. I wouldn't go back to those days. gonna take away now my peace cause I owe my everything oh yeah just a little bit of faith and these are the things to myself I say when things get hurt now I'll be the changes I am my comfort when I'm in pain I love it. All What's right, thank you. 
what's this what's the what's the story behind pictures yeah pictures you know just looking back over my life and understanding that i wouldn't go back to you know those days um you know that person that i used to be where i didn't trust my gut instinct where i didn't um believe in myself right. um, like i should have and so i'm at a different stage in my life where you know i have so much belief in myself i understand my inner strength my inner power and so you know everything i ever want i got it and uh i'm, I'm literally bleeding my truth like like yeah. the name of the uh album says so yeah. pictures a snapshot of you know of who I used to be, but be a very appreciative of the journey because that journey has truly shaped who I am today. Yeah. Hey, Gerald. Hey, Ace. Yeah. Everybody, stop what you're doing. I know you got another device. So when you get off, go over to GaryBeals.com. And Gary, they can get the project there, right? Yeah. I actually just I uploaded it today because tomorrow marks six months since the release of my album. So I'll be releasing a, a video for uh, the song Bleed My Truth tomorrow, a live performance video, as well as a music video tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Right, so, so I'm getting a lot of texts and you know, I got all these devices over here and people's like, wow, you know, if they hit you up personally, a lot of people want a signed copy. Can they get a signed copy from Oh, you? yes, you can just, or you can buy merch on my site. Like I said, I literally just made it live. Uh, before this show, and I will sign it. I will ship it out, and uh, yeah, personal. Oh, and, and, and show them, Gary, your sweatshirt you just got. I love it. Oh, yes, bleed my truth. Bleed my truth. Sweatshirt. Everybody go get one. Bleed. My I don't have the sweatshirts. I just have t-shirts. But you know, this is this sweatshirt for Gary. But uh, yeah, I have t-shirts. Bleed my truth t-shirts on the back. It says it's the quote for the song. I can't really see it, but okay. You know, um, yeah. Yeah. I like. What about on the t-shirt? Is anything on the back on the t-shirt or just says yeah, the quote, the quote uh, from this song? Can't nobody interrupt my meditation, self-love and intimate liberation, no anxious feelings, no anticipation. I believe my truth, Jazzy. <laughs> I believe my truth. And I am right there with you. You know, um, so again, what's what's been your biggest challenge that you've encountered uh, if any, on this musical journey? Oh, the biggest challenge. Oh, my goodness. What has the big, been the biggest challenge? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. There's been so many challenges releasing this album. Um, but what has been the biggest one? Mm -hmm. oh, Jazzy, you know what? Ah, oh, my <laughs> mind. <laughs> the biggest challenge. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess the biggest challenge has been releasing this album throughout this pandemic, you know, this ever changing pandemic in Toronto. We are in a lockdown and not being able to go out and perform. I love performing, especially with a live band. And so um, the inability to perform live with a band, you know, I've done a few virtual shows, um, but it's not the same. And just being able to connect with an audience. I'm such an energy person. So um, I need to be in the same space with people. People. So that's been a challenge and just finding ways in which I can release my my project. It's an independent project. You know, um, you know, I have a small team and some t at one point I had to start working with the team because just, you know, the pandemic happened and uh, yeah, I just couldn't afford to continue on with with a team knowing not knowing when the it was going to come to an end. So um, the ever-changing team members and, like I said, just finding creative ways to um, connect and release my album. And I loved, um, you know, putting together visuals for this project. I've, I've done 10 visuals to date, and um, it's been amazing. I've done uh, six music videos, three live performance videos, and one documentary. Um, so oh, yeah. Tell um, us about the, the, the documentary. Yeah, I did a documentary because I always say my, my album is more than music. It's uh, a chance to have conversation. And so I wanted to sit down with a really diverse group of people and um, just talk about a topic, which is one of the themes on the album, love, something that we can all relate to. And I had a chance to sit down with 13 individuals. We shot this documentary in one day in Toronto and uh, we, uh, 
the ages from like five year old Kiera to 84 year old Gaytree. And we just talked about love. You know, I sat down, asked some questions about love, um, various questions, and just um, listening to their experiences and giving insight. Um, and it was an amazing day. So that documentary you can check out on YouTube, my YouTube channel, Gary Beals Music. Um, it's a 14 minute documentary, but it's a, a, a really uh, good watch. So, oh, yeah. And, you know, and the song uh, "Blood Red Roses." Do you have a don't you have a remix to that? I have a remix. Yeah, that song was inspired by my trip to South Africa. Um, that was one of the last songs written on the album. I went to South Africa in two thousand and nine, and I was so inspired by um, just that trip to South Africa, my first time in Africa, and you know, I, I was so emotional so many times, and so I was inspired to just write, uh, I, I fell in love with Afrobeats <laughs> when I was there. <laughs> And so, yeah, uh, my producer, he, he was like, he doesn't really kind of dibble and dabble in Afro beats, but we kind of gave it a, a similar feel. And uh, so, yeah, uh, we, that was the song Blood Red Roses. And then we did the remix, which is an Afro beats vibe. Um, yeah. And then the, the video just showcases all um, a black cast, full black cast. And uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I was going to see if we can show a snippet just a right. little bit of the video because I I love the video and I was like you know what Gary should have called me and asked me to at least be in the video yeah. right next video next video Jesse, I got you okay. <laughs> Diamond tears roll down my face, I must be happy. Crystal clear raindrops won't drown my precious time. All this black and gold on me, I must be royalty. Live life like I just never stress is all behind. Blood with roses, black kisses, for the moments. I, I, I love it. it, it it's just what we need. Me, good music, it gives you that vibe, that energy. It makes your soul feel good. Yes, that's what music is supposed to do for you. Yeah, blood, rest, roses. And I know it's kind of hard right now, Gary. Do, do you have anything coming up, like performing live, that you can share with us? Yeah, I have a uh, um, a show that's happening next Saturday. Um, it's with a few, a four or three other Toronto artists. Um, it's a soul session so show. Um, yeah, I'll be sharing that on my socials on uh, Instagram and Facebook, Gary Beth Music, where you can find me. Um, but yeah, that's the next the next show that I have coming up. So that's on May first. All right. I performed the first time. Uh, me for me with a full band. So really excited about that one. Um, Cause I've been doing a lot of acoustic kind of vibes. Um, so this is the first time singing with a full band, me for me. So really excited about that. Thank okay. you. Jeremy. Yeah, thanks Jer. And you know, I wanted you to give a shout out, it, you know, in the video, is that your band? I always like to support and give shout outs to the um yeah you know what i worked uh, it's not like my official band because i work i work with so many musicians here okay. um but yeah shout out to the guys in the band shout out to so many people that um been a part of so many of my videos like you know people who have just you know eagerly have come on board to say you know what i want to be a part of this and uh it's been really amazing and it, how just everything has happened organically so right well, I, I definitely can't wait till we can get you here in Alabama. Yes. Wherever you are, let us know where Gary Beals is going to be because I want to be up close and personal on the front row. All right. To see amazing performance. <laughs> and uh, Gary, let everyone know how they can find you on all social media outlets, how they can find your music. Yeah, Gary Beals music everywhere. So uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and my website, GaryBeals.com. But yes, Gary Beals, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me on, subscribe on the YouTube. And yeah, of course, you can, my album, if uh, you want to stream it, download it, you can find that on all streaming platforms. All right. My brother, thank you so much, Gary, for, for coming on the show, Artist Talk. Please come back. I, I, I want to talk with you more, especially uh, about the, the doc, you know, the documentary where we can have more in-depth conversation also mm -hmm. about that, because I think we, we need to have more conversation oh, about yeah. that. So 
Would you please come back on the show? Of course, Jazzy. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. I see the comments. Much love to you all. All right. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian R&B recording artist, Mr. Gary Bills. And we're going to talk real soon. OK, Gary? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wow. Thank you all so much. Another great conversation right here on Artist Talk. Again, thank you all for your comments, coming on the show. Please share the video and please support these indie artists. Please, Gary Bills, his new album is Bleed My Truth. All you have to do is go over to GaryBills.com and uh, download the album today, as well as jump over to K Ward Radio and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the, yeah, right there, the notification bell so you can get all the notifications as well as subscribe to kwardradio.com. Any artist that would like to come on the show, uh, be featured, all of my information is listed there. Send me your information, I'll be glad to view it, as well as you can support the show. My PayPal uh, Cash App information is all there as well. Join me on a Saturday Jazz Affair each and every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. That's Central Standard Time. You can log on to the show via WVASFM.org. That's live on the campus of Alabama State University. Again, thank you all so much for your support. Join me back on here tomorrow. I have an international recording artist, uh, Mr. David P. Stevens. You don't want to miss our conversation with him as well. Have a good night, guys. Make sure you take care of yourself and be kind to others. Good night. I let you teach me to be me through my insecurities. Wondering one more you need from me. If you take and I take, we take. If you do and I do, we do. If you love and I love, we love. What more do we need? Could you not take me for me? Why would you want to break free from me? Gave you my heart, gave you my trust, gave you my all and you just gave it up. How could you not take me for me? A live one that want a conversation. 30 minutes of pure entertainment with musicians, writers, and actors to motivate us, chefs, and even rappers to up and comings with the it factor. It's the Jesse K. Ward coming at you.